Hello my dear student, welcome to my channel Talking Physics with Piyas Sarkar. Today we shall go with some new topic about nuclear physics. Today we are going to study that you have joint, NEET and coming HS exam is very important. So today my first lecture is on nuclear topics. So listen to it. If there is any question that you think that it is difficult, please comment in the comment box. लिख दीजिए ओके तो लेट अस स्टार्ट द टॉपिक टूडे टॉपिक इज प्रोपर्टीज ऑफ न्यूक्लिया प्रोपर्टीज ऑफ न्यूक्लिया और न्यूक्लियस प्रोपर्टीज ऑफ न्यूक्लिया तो वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड और डिस्कस्ड नो अबाउट द न्यूक्लियस कि न्यूक्लियस बहुत ही एक छोटा सा जो एटम के अंदर एक छोटा सा स्थान है एक जगह जगह है जिसमें प्रोटॉन और न्यूट्रॉन रहता है तो पहले हम जानेंगे सम एविडेंस अबाउट न्यूक्लिया एविडेंस दैट इज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ न्यूक्लिया कैसे पता चला कि न्यूक्लिया एटम के अंदर है तो फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट किया था रादार फोर्ट ने वी नो थे रादार फोर्ट लार्ज एंगल स्कैटरिंग और अल्फा स्कैटरिंग रादार फोर्ट लार्ज एंगल स्कैटरिंग वाज द एविडेंस फॉर न्यूक्लियस दैट इट इज कॉल्ड आल्सो प्लैनेटरी मॉडल रादार फोर्ट मॉडल इज कॉल्ड प्लैनेटरी मॉडल बिकॉज it's it is a many similar to planet in atom there is a small space where all its charge and mass are quantities concentrated and electron revolves in a circular orbit as planet revolves around sun so it is called planetary model this is an strong evidence about being nucleus okay नेक्स्ट और क्या पता चला है राधा फोर्ड मॉडल के कि द मोस्ट ऑफ द स्पेस इन एटम इज एम टी द एवरेज रेडियस ऑफ न्यूक्लियस इज न्यूक्लियर रेडियस इज ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ टेन टू दी पावर माइनस फिफ्टीन मीटर वेर इज द रेडियस ऑफ एन एटम इफ दिस इज कॉल्ड आर एन दिस इज आर ए इज टेन टू दी पावर माइनस टेन मीटर सो if we take the ratio of this that is ra to rn we can get 10 to the power 5 so that is the radius of atom radius of atom karib karib ek lakh gun large than nuclear radius nucleus radius k so nuclear radius se atom ka jo radius se 10 to the power 5 times larger so we say that the most of most of the space are empty. Nucleus is a very teeny space. Number three, the activity of radioactivity, the phenomena of radioactivity, also is the evidence of being nucleus. Okay, the natural radioactivity, natural radioactivity. That is the emission of alpha, beta, and gamma rays shows that there is a small teeny place from where this three radiations were emitted. Even this gamma particle is not the constituent of nucleus, but when a nucleus comes from excited state to ground state, when a nucleus comes from excited to ground state, it emits gamma rays photon. So, the phenomena of natural activity shows that the nucleus is in the atom. The phenomena of artificial radioactivity, artificial radioactivity. Now, radioactivity kya hai? Iske baare mein hum janenge next lecture mein. Okay? So, artificial radioactivity kya hai? Artificial radioactivity ki 
What is natural radioactivity and artificial radioactivity? Artificial radioactivity is the phenomena in which any a, an atom which is not uh, in natural radioactive but it becomes turn into a radioactive sample by bombarding particle like alpha, beta, proton, positron and so on. So, on. so artificial radioactivity also shows that that alpha, beta and electrons, neutrons, positron takes part, positron sorry, positron takes part in forming nucleus. And finally, the cosmic ray, cosmic ray also shows that there is a the in on behalf of having nucleus, cosmic rays experiment. So, we can, this is the evidence of nuclear, a, a nucleus, existence of nucleus, ki nucleus in atom is ke bahuti chota sa space mein nucleus hai, jis mein pura atom ka, jo mass hai aur charge hai, wo concentrate hai. Now, we shall go with nucleus properties. Now, some go with some other nucleus properties. We know that proton neutron hypothesis. Hypothesis. Proton neutron hypothesis कौन प्रोटॉन न्यूट्रॉन हाइपोथेसिस कौन किया था एज इन 1932 चैडविक न्यूट्रॉन डिस्कवर डिस्कवर कर लिया था ही हैज दिस ऑलरेडी डिस्कवर द न्यूट्रॉन सो दिस लेट Heisenberg to the proton neutron hypothesis to write the proton neutron hypothesis according to this proton neutron hypothesis in atom there is a tiny space which is called nucleus in which chargeless neutron and positive charge proton is situated and it also constitute the mass of the nucleus both neutron and proton constitute the mass of the nucleus and charge of nucleus is, cons is accompanied by only the charge of proton because neutron is a chargeless particle and as atom is neutral so if there are a z number of protons so there must be z number of electrons if there are z number of protons z number of electrons so that the e atom is electrically neutron neutral this is the proton neutron hypothesis made by heisenberg so what are the fundamental particles of nucleus now you can go with fundamental particles we know that the fundamental particles of nucleus are two one is proton and neutron what is the similarity between two particles the mass are nearly same mass of proton is nearly 1.6724 or 25 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg where mass as neutron is 1.6749 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. So, they are nearly equal. Charge of proton is positive and equal to charge of electron that is 1.6 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb whereas neutron is chargeless particle. Intrinsic spin that is ms intrinsic the or spin angular momentum of neutron is large 
then uh, sorry increasing uh, uh, it, it has increasing angular momentum it is positive it has also increasing angular momentum and it is also magnetic moment it is also magnetic moment it also possesses small magnetic moment अब हम डिटेल्स में ये डिस्कस नहीं करेंगे क्योंकि हमारा जो ट्वेल्थ का सिलेबस है उसमें इन सारी डिटेल्स में नहीं है जस्ट बेसिक गाइडलाइंस है तो ये सारी चीज़ें आपको जो जो की वाट की पॉइंट है ये आपको मेमोराइज करना पड़ेगा ओके सो प्रोटोन और न्यूट्रॉन के बारे में हम लोग जान गए नाउ वी गो फॉर सम टर्म रिलेटेड टू न्यूक्लियर फिजिक्स सम टर्म रिलेटेड टू न्यूक्लियर फिजिक्स ये जानना बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि आगे इसके आगे जब हम लेक्चर में नेक्स्ट चैप्टर के पढ़ाऊंगा तो उसमें ये सब चीज आएगा तो आपको तभी प्रॉब्लम नहीं होने चाहिए ओके तो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज वी नो दैट न्यूक्लिया न्यूक्लिया इज द टर्म हु इज रिलेटेड एज बोथ और टूगेदर सॉरी न्यूक्लिया नो न्यूक्लियन न्यूक्लियन इज बोथ और टूगेदर प्रोटोन एंड न्यूट्रॉन प्रोटोन एंड न्यूट्रॉन न्यूक्लियाइड और मास नंबर मास नंबर क्या है साम ऑफ प्रोटोन एंड न्यूट्रॉन प्रोटोन प्लस न्यूट्रॉन ओके नंबर थ्री एटॉमिक नंबर विच इज नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स देन है न्यूक्लाइट इज रिटर्न एज इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोटोन नंबर एंड मास नंबर एक्स इज केमिकल सिम्बल ऑफ द एलिमेंट जेड इज प्रोटोन नंबर ए इज मास नंबर एंड एन एलिमेंट विथ इज प्रोटोन एंड मास नंबर इज नोन एज न्यूक्लाइट नाउ यू गो विथ आइसोबार आइसोटोप एंड आइसोमार ओके आइसोटोप आइसोबार आइसोटोन आइसोटोप सेम प्रोटोन आइसोबार सेम मास नंबर एंड आइसोटोन सेम न्यूट्रॉन ओके सेम प्रोटोन हेयर डिफारेंट इन न्यूट्रॉन और मास नंबर सेम मास नंबर डिफारेंट प्रोटोन एंड सेम न्यूट्रॉन बट डिफारेंट प्रोटोन नाउ यू गो विथ एग्जाम्पल वन एच वन वन एच टू वन एच थ्री That is simple hydrogen, deuterium and titanium. Or be here, okay. Same mass number isobar, same mass number and different proton. If we take calcium and argon, twenty forty, eighteen forty. So mass number is same, but here proton is twenty, here proton is eighteen, and isoton. 
isoton is same neutron but different proton same neutron and different proton that is chlorine 1737 and potassium 1939 both have neutron 20 so in a at a glance we can say that this picture and another topics is isomer isomer is identical nucleus but different energy suppose two identical nucleus this nucleus and this nucleus is identical but if nucleus A is ground state and nucleus B is excited state then their energy is different but they are identical. So these two nucleus are isomer to each other ok. So we can learn this thing I know you know I can only revision it revise it for your better knowledge. Now we shall go with atomic mass. What is called atomic mass? Atomic mass. Atomic mass is one twelfth of C twelve atom. And it is called AMU, 1 AMU, atomic, A for atomic, M for mass, U for unit, atomic mass unit equal to 1 to 12 into 1 C 12 atom mass. That is One twelfth into one C twelve atomic mass is one point nine nine into ten to the power minus twenty six kg. So if we put this value, we can get one point six six zero five into ten to the power minus twenty seven kg equal to one amu. Now. <coughs> We can write the mass of proton, neutron and electron in terms of atomic unit. So mass of electron is 0 0.00055 amu. Mass of proton 1.0073 amu and mass of neutron equal to 1.0086 amu. Therefore, mass of hydrogen that is mass of proton plus mass of electron equal to 1.0078 amu. If we multiply this amu by 1.6605 into 10 to the minus 27, we can get the mass of electron in kilogram that is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 27, sorry, 31. Kg. Okay. Now we get, go with nuclear size. Size of nucleus. Size of nucleus. Nucleus ka size assume karne ka bohu sari bohu sari model hai. Okay. Different scientists have assumed different models. Suppose a liquid drop model or any other model. In liquid drop model, the nucleus is treated as a drop of liquid which has no a clear surface boundary. Now, it is assumed that the volume of nucleus is directly proportional to the cube of mass number. 
that is if we take nucleus as sphere that is 4 third pi r cube <coughs> is proportional to a to the power sorry uh, a cube a cube mass cube a cube that is r cube is proportional to a to the power sorry it is not cube but volume is proportional to mass number or radius cube is proportional to mass number that is r cube proportional to a or r is proportional to a to the power one third if we write r equal to r zero a to the power one third r zero is the nuclear unit radius nuclear unit radius which is of the order of nuclear size which is of the order of nuclear size 1.2 fermi okay that is nearly equal to 1.2 fermi is the value of r0 value of r0 this is not the total value but 1.2 fermi is the value of r0 r0 is a is constant so this is the very special formula to calculate the radius of a nucleus if the mass number is known okay now we go with density of nucleus density density of nucleus is very large compared to liquid liquid drop in liquid drop model nucleus is be treated as drop of liquid but in practice the density of liquids is far large than the density of water okay so density of nucleus is rho of nucleus is equal to mass of nucleus by volume of nucleus if a is the mass of a nucleon a is the mass of only one nucleon and if there are sorry a, a, a m is the mass of one nucleon m is the mass of one nucleon and there are if a number of a is the mass number that is the sum of proton and neutron the total mass is m a and volume is 4 third pi r q or m a divided by 4 third pi r means r 0 a to the power 1 third whole cube therefore we get m a or 3 m a by 4 pi r 0 cube a a a cancel out we can finally get 3m by 4 pi r0 cube that is nuclear density is does not depend on the size of the nucleus as it does not depend the mass the nuclear density huh, is does, uh, does not depend on the size of the nucleus so a nucleus is small or large the density remains same for if we put the value of m for electron 1.6725 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg r0 equal to 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 15 meter then we can get rho it becomes 2 into 10 to the power 17 2.3 into 10 to the power 17 kilogram per meter cube okay 2.3 into 10 to the power 7 meter kilogram per meter cube that is the density of nucleus is of the order of 10 to the power 17 kilogram per meter cube which is very large compared to the density of water which the density of water is only 1000 10 to the power 3 kilogram per meter cube. So this is the basic formula you know about nucleus. Next day we go with nuclear force and its properties. If you like my uh, channel please subscribe there.
ओके थैंक यू